Next, we look into the Telnet. So I believe that many of you uh, have heard about Telnet or used Telnet before. If you're not, then let's look into what exactly is a Telnet. So to facilitate a device management using command, you can do a Telnet. Remember, it's only for command. Device management through Telnet is different from that using the console. In Telnet-based device management mode, no dedicated cable is required. Remember that if you do a console, we need to use a dedicated console cable. Whereas if you do a telnet, you can use an ethernet cable. You can even connect through the wireless. It's fine as long as you have the IP address. All right, as long as it's reachable, you can telnet to those devices. And typically we are using port number 23. The device that can be managed through Telnet is called Telnet Server. So here we have a lot of Telnet Server uh, devices include access point, router, switches, firewall, or server. So that's right, server you also can do Telnet. Many network devices can act as both Telnet Server and Telnet Client. So this is your PC and you can manage all these devices. Alright, so here we have the uh, Telnet uh, interface we call as a VTY or virtual type terminal okay virtual type terminal so when a user log into a device using console port or telnet the system allocate a user interface to manage and monitor the current session between device and user a series of parameters can be set in each user interface view to specify the authentication mode which means that if you telnet you need to uh, have this uh, password or you also have the option to say that no authentication is required or you also can do a remote authentication so there are three ways for you to do this authentication where you need to specify then you also need to specify the user privilege as usual we see that in the FTP example just now after a user log into a device user operation can perform depend on the configure parameter it means that depend on the level of privilege that you have sometimes you only have monitor remote or you can have an administrator mode okay so the user interface vty stands for virtual type terminal so for you to connect so as you can see we have the vty 0123 so here we have four telnet interface so the step is first establish a telnet connection you use a command called telnet to the IP address. So then they are going to allocate this uh, interface. If you have all interface used up, then the next user, which is the fifth user, will not able to tell them. And depend on the authentication mode and uh, the user, after they key in the username and password, then they will have different level of privilege. So let's look into the configuration command for Telnet, which is also pretty easy you can configure the telnet using the telnet server enable and by default telnet server function is enabled so you do not necessarily use the telnet server enable unless that is already been disabled so to disable the telnet you can use the command called undo telnet server enable that's right you use the undo to actually disable the telnet that is already enabled next we use this enter the user view you use user interface vty you have to specify two parameters the first parameters is the user interface first number and the last user interface number for example zero four so it means zero one two three four if you put zero one that means that it's zero interface and one interface, which are two interfaces. Then you have to specify the protocol inbound is either all. All means that it includes Telnet and SSH. If we just specify protocol inbound Telnet, then SSH is not allowed. Or you also can just allow SSH. And by default, VTY user interface support both SSH and Telnet. Okay, so we can actually uh, based on our preference, of course, that the preference is always SSH, which is more secure. So to configure the authentication, we use this command called authentication mode. As I mentioned, we have three authentication mode. Either is AAA using the AAA, authentication, authorization, and accounting. None means that the user do not need to be authenticated. 
password means that you have to specify what is the password locally. Then you can specify the password as encrypted or not. So by default, no default authentication is available. You need to manually configure the authentication mode. The set authentication password cipher command implement varies according to VRP. Okay, so this is an optional. So it's all depend on the version. So this is a full configuration for you to configure the uh, device. So here we have two devices. One is the Telnet client, another one is the Telnet server. So the command is pretty easy. Go to the system view. Telnet server enable is by default unless that is disabled, else you can just ignore this command. Then we go into the triple A. We create a triple A because we want to use uh, AAA authentication. Uh, remember, we also can just type in the user and the password without the triple uh, A. Remember, we have three options. All right. So in this example, uh, we show you the triple A option. We need to configure the user. The user is called Huawei. The password is uh, Huawei at one two three using irreversible cipher. And this user have a privilege level of fifteen, and the service time is Telnet. You can see that uh, they are not using uh, FTP. Remember the FTP uh, example earlier on that I show you? You quit one level, then you specify the user interface. In this case, it's VTY04, and the authentication is AAA. Now, once you have configured this, then we can go to the client and start to do a telnet. In the client, so on the client, we just do a telnet 10.1.1.2, which is the IP address of this telnet server. Once you press enter, you have to specify the username and then followed by the password. Once you have done that, then you're able to log into the device already. Okay, so this is pretty easy.